said, you, you prepare for their best guys, but it's a little, a little different when you don't know for sure which quarterback you're going to get. Oh, it's okay. You know, we've been in this situation several times. Obviously, Aaron Rodgers is the best of the best, and we have a lot of film on him. And uh, Jordan uh, Love, we saw some good uh, tape on him last week. So, you know, we have enough film to uh, put, put uh, game plans together. Rodgers, what's the fine line that you walk in trying to time things up at the line of scrimmage, given how often he changes the cadence and gets teams offside? Uh, he's pretty good. He's, he's the best at what he does. I think that you, we can't give him many, many things that he hasn't seen before. I th we just uh, we have to do a real good job of execution, being in the right spot. And, and uh, uh, we've always done a good job of tackling, doing that well. But they have uh, he has really good players around him. OK, and, and that. That uh, itself makes him very dangerous with his skill guys, running backs, receivers, and things like that. So it's those guys we really need to worry about because those are the guys that uh, do things with balls in their hand. You have seen a lot of good running backs this year, but how does this tandem differ? They're pretty good. Uh, like you said, we saw, we've seen a lot of good tandems, and I think any time that you, you play in this league, you expect uh, at the pro level to be the, the very best. So we, uh, we're ready for the challenge. Be a pretty big challenge for like Trey Brown, this third or fourth game or whatever. Right. Rogers, or right. I mean, how prepared is the guy to see? You know, well, you know, like, like, just like the running back situation, every week you're going to get really good receivers, and I think that that's why we bring a guy like Trey in to, uh, to be ready to play at, at a high level. So you can't, uh, you don't have a lot of learning time. You just, it's, it's jump in and, and play the very best, and uh, we really have a lot of confidence in what he's done so far, and he's getting each better each and every week, and he doesn't have to do it himself. Uh, we're all, we're all in this together. How do you prepare for the stuff that Rodgers does at the line of scrimmage, like trying to draw defenses outside? How do you prepare for that? Uh, you know, I can't tell you exactly what we do, uh, but I'll say that, uh, you know, we watch a lot of film and we will be prepared. All the times you've faced him, what has been the biggest challenge against him? Uh, you know, he's, he does a lot of things really well. I, th I think the main thing he has, you know, this magic about finding uh, the open receiver. He, uh, he extends plays really well. And he has good, good skill players around him. He knows how to get the ball in the right people's hands. He's, uh, you know, pretty bright. Uh, Bobby was saying that he just commands the entire show there in Lambo. The crowd noise, the tempo. The, is he maybe unique in that regard of any quarterback? Well, it's, you know, all the, the top veteran quarterbacks have a good, uh, good feel and a good understanding of their offense. He knows exactly what he's doing. Uh, he knows exactly what he wants to see, and he tries to put his offense in the best play possible, uh, depending on what defense he sees. So he's, uh, you know, he he's in total command of, you know, of his surroundings, of his team, and and what he sees on the other side of the ball. Bobby Wagner could get hundred tackles for the best two years coming up here. He, he could do it Sunday. Oh yeah. What, how many? Or how how uh, I guess uh, impressive being able to do that. I mean, every it's. You know, he's just been consistent. He's been uh, a guy that ha has great habits. He's been uh, really, really durable and dominant. And it's just a testament to the way he lives his life every day, the, the routine he sets, how hard he works, and the way he loves this game. It's just amazing to see. That's uh, when, you, when you look at all the great linebackers over, over time, I don't know, even the great ones have been able to do 100 tackles 10 years straight. That's that's pretty hard to do. And that's um, you know, that's really really special thing that he's been able to accomplish. He has said repeatedly how instrumental you have been to his career. How much pride do you take in what Wagner's accomplished? Uh, it's important. I think any time that you uh, that you coach, uh, any time that you spend the, the time and the energy and the effort and the life that uh, that we put into this game and and the people and the relationships that you make, uh, it's uh, you know, you you find a way you're you're playing with the person, you're you're playing through the person, and the fact that I've been able to play this game a long time myself, I really understand uh, uh, the the effort and the focus and the the sacrifice and the discipline. There's so many things that goes into to to what he's been able to do, and he's been able to handle and juggle and and organize it all to to perform at a lot high level over and over and over again. That's that's really, really magical and special. Are you hard on him? Uh, in a lot of ways, yeah. In a lot of ways, no. I think I think it's important when you when you coach, you have to understand that every player is different. 
You have to understand how the learners learn and how to approach and touch each player's buttons. And Bobby's, he's special in his own little way, just like everybody has their own little way of being uh, touched. And, uh, you know, we connected uh, early on and we've been able to, you know, to make it to make it work. I'm sorry to elaborate, but you said in some ways, yes, some ways, no. What do you mean by that? Were you it's any, a, were you were tougher on him in some ways, yes, in some ways, no, you said, were you? Well, you just have to know when to be toughest and when to, to, to hug him. You know, you have to understand when are the moments that you have to uh, be hard and, and tough and you have to understand that uh, there's a way to say things tough, but don't come off tough. You know, you just have to be smart. It's like raising, it's like raising your, being with your family or raising your kids. You have to uh, be stern in a certain way, but sometimes you have to find the right words to, to say it where it doesn't come off uh, negative. When you first got here, was there any moment or type of thing that just jumped out like you realized he was different and special or was it something? Uh, I think we knew just in the, in the whole process of, of, of scouting, watching him in college, seeing his, his makeup, all the different uh, ways he was able to make plays and the way he moved around and the way his mind worked. Uh, I think that there's no question as high as we picked him, uh, I think that we had a feeling that it was a chance. I think everybody has a chance, but he was able to put it all together uh, really well. And that's, that's, uh, that's very rare, what he's been able to do. But I think that everybody, especially the, the scouting department, did a fantastic job of really pinpointing him as a guy that was that was special for us. You remember being nervous or anything about whether he was still going to be there? When you guys oh, yeah. There? Oh, yeah. It was, it was a run. It was a run on linebackers at that time. And uh, he was the one we pinpointed. And uh, it was, it was kind of nervous at first, but uh, uh, great timing by the, by the scouting department. Anything else, guys? Thanks, Thanks Thank you. you.